Well, hello there everyone. I'm Christy and welcome to my kitchen. So for dinner tonight, I'm making a Philly cheese steak and tortellini dish. Yeah, it is so delicious. You have your flavors of a Philly cheese steak and a cheese tortellini. Combine those two together and you have this fantastic meal that comes together really, really quick. So I've got my ingredients here on my counter. I'm just going to go over those with you as I make it but I will leave you the full recipe in the description box below so that you can go check it out later. But we've got to get started because it's that time, time to get cooking. All right, so what I have here is a 20 ounce package of three cheese tortellini. And I'm just going to add it to some boiling water. And these just take a few minutes to cook. All right, so into a large skillet, I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. All right, then I'm going to add one chopped onion and one bell pepper chopped. Then I'm just gonna let these cook for a couple minutes until they soften. And then I'm going to add two garlic cloves and I'm just mincing them in my garlic press. All right, and then I have a couple ribeye steaks that I have cut in thin strips. Then you will need some Montreal steak seasoning. Now I made this and I will leave you the recipe in the description box below, but I'm going to add one tablespoon. So next I'm going to add my tortellini. Now this may sound strange. The steak is still a little bit pink, but it will continue to cook um, as I add, when I add the rest of the salt, when I, <laughs> when I make the sauce and add it, it'll cook that steak a little bit more. But I'm going to turn off the heat because now I am going to make the sauce in the same skillet that I cooked the tortellini in. So you will need two cups of a heavy cream all right, just bring the heavy cream up to a low simmer. All right, it is slowly starting to simmer. So now what I'm going to do is I've got some shredded mozzarella cheese, and I'm just going to gradually add this cheese just a little bit at a time. You don't want to dump it all in there or it'll just get real clumpy. So add just a little at a time, whisking as you go till it's smooth and creamy. But you could also use provolone cheese. You can use a mixture of uh, provolone and mozzarella or Parmesan cheese. I'm also going to add a good pinch of salt. All right, so I'm going to turn the fire back on underneath of my steak and tortellini, and I'm going to pour this sauce over top and then give it a good mix. And then you can just let this cook for a, another couple minutes just until the steak is cooked through and everything is bubbling and hot. All right, so I tasted it and I think it needs just a little bit more salt. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this looks amazing. You guys have got to come check it out.
the steak is nice and tender and the cheese tortellini and that sauce oh, this goes together beautifully well thank you all so much for watching i hope that you have a wonderful day god bless and as always i will see you soon with more delicious recipes